Uh, what's up, everybody? Once again, it's Brandon, man, Sean, and I have another snippet from a very special interview that will be dropping soon. It's a clip from my interview of Wendy Day. Wendy Day has done so much when it comes to the music industry, has brokered some very serious deals working with artists like Eminem, Cash Money, uh, managing David Banner. There's been so much impact that she's had throughout the industry and she, she lays low, but she does have a great YouTube channel. We'll talk about that later. This particular clip right here is her going over a method that she uses with many of her clients and it's something a lot of you artists, managers, people with fledgling record labels can get value on. Keep it in mind and I'm gonna add my two cents at the end. But the <laughs> best thing that a manager could do or an artist himself or herself could do is find somebody that believes in them and is willing to invest in them for a fair rate of return. Meaning if you can find an investor that's either gonna lend you the money to market and promote, or they're gonna to wanna to own a percentage of your company that's small enough that it makes it worthwhile, then you can utilize that funding to blow up not only on the internet, but in the real world. Um, what, what, what my clients do is we work like, I call it a five hour dri driving radius. It's usually like a three to four state area. Yep. But it's an area where they can easily access and drive to different cities and towns in the area and market and promote their music. And we do it old school and we do it new school. You know, we get out there and shake hands and kiss babies and take pictures. And we also do digital marketing where, you know, we're, we're advertising, we're doing Facebook ads, we're doing Google ads, we're boosting the followers on Instagram through engagement. I mean, real followers. I don't mean, you know, this bullshit, get a million followers for 1999. I mean, the real engaging with potential fans mm -hmm. and, and putting out music that's amazing and creating great visuals and videos for the songs that make people want to share your music with their friends mm. you know and and that's that's always the goal you know if you start with a great budget and you start with music that's marketable there's no reason why you can't do this yourself and the great thing is that as you do this and you realize that you're you're developing a fan base and you start to get paid for shows you know you start making a thousand dollars fifteen hundred twenty five hundred your music starting to grow in that in that in that regional area that we just talked about, you may find that you don't even need a label. You may be able to do this on yourself, like Chance the Rapper, you know, like Frank Ocean, like um, Little Donald, like the folks that are out here doing this now independently, yeah. they realize that they don't need a record label. All right, so you see the method that Wendy Day has talked about, right? Her five to six hour driving range. What's so important when it comes to what she's saying is two concepts that I always have talked about, right? targeting right you want to find a niche you want to find people but then also omnipresence and when you are actually focused and you're targeted on a specific area and making sure you're everywhere to that specific group of people then you have targeted omnipresence and that's where you can create a lot of power and get the most bang for your buck it's something that you need to keep in mind but not only because of that but also because i know so many artists that have fans across the world but they can't capitalize and monetize that audience because they can't even get there you're in idaho and you have a fan base in singapore what are you going to do with that and then you got others that have 12 fans in new york 100 fans in atlanta five fans in arkansas it's great to have that spread out fan base around the world because of the internet it allows that but you want to focus most of your efforts on building a fan base within a specific region and area where you can really capitalize off of that and start to monetize that through touring you know the physical aspect of things not just getting your music listened to so even if for whatever reason you live in a state and the next two states around you don't really have an audience that will be receptive to your type of music, go find some other states and then target that region. Just for a random example, if I'm in like New Mexico, but for whatever reason, people in New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, that area like my music, they will be receptive to my music, then spend a lot of your targeting effort on that. Of course, ideally, it's always the five to six driving radius around you where you can just drive, spend a little bit of money, get the most bang for your buck. 
and you don't have to fly. But at the end of the day, if you can at least find some other area that then you can figure out how to get there and stay there as long as you can to capitalize off of the audience that you build up. It's something to keep in mind. Stay tuned for the entire Windy Day interview as always. The link in the description below will become active once her full interview drops. If you click anytime before then, it's not gonna really do anything for you. But as always, I would love to know you guys thought some things. I definitely have known multiple people who have found great success with this exact method. So if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you like, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. You know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.